Some rando on the internet just called me a McDojo. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. That's actually a little unclear because he commented on a video that I posted of some kids doing a drill and said McDojo, just one word. So I assume he was talking about like my training methods are those that would commonly be found in a McDojo. And if you're wondering, no, it's not you. It wasn't you. It's some rant. It's some guy I've never had an interaction before with, with before. So I wanted to make a quick video. Would it be? and give you my thoughts on a McDojo. If you look at the definition, a McDojo is a school that exists only to make money. Thanks KarateMartialArt.net. Now, it's obviously a portmanteau, which is a combination of two words put together to make a new word. Mick comes from McDonald's, which makes really crappy burgers, but they're amazing at it and dojo, which is a martial arts school. Essentially, if all you care about is producing black belts and taking money, and you don't care about the standards, then you just lower the standards so you have a lot of black belts. It's also certainly true that there are some of these places, these franchises, that really only care about being a business and don't care as much about preserving, teaching, and advancing the martial arts. So how do you know if the school you're at or some dude on the internet, how do you know if that school is a McDojo? The quickest and most obvious answer is you don't. Not until you really dig in and investigate some, okay? Good teachers have bad students, vice versa. <laughs> bad teachers have good students. It depends on who the person is, how athletic they are, how hard they work, what research they do beyond their training, the other teachers, the culture of the dojo, etc, 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 etc. Technically, I don't even teach, <laughs> I don't even teach a karate style in the context this dude called me a McDojo. So, I guess he should have said McDojong because it's Korean, it's Tang Sudo. You'd need to know what the school does in terms of their curriculum. You'd need to know each individual student, where they started and where they are now, and see what the progress is before you can judge. Is a place a McDojo? Is an instructor a representative of a group that only cares about money? Of course, the internet implication, when you call someone a McDojo, you're attacking their credibility. You're saying that what they're doing isn't real martial arts or that their students aren't any good, okay? So you better make sure, if you're going to say that, that you're not uh, dissing a bunch of six-year-olds or, you know, something like that. So I understand if you're a keyboard warrioring, you're not really interested in nuance and you're not looking to develop an opinion, but what I want for people to be accurate with the words they use. Of course, I don't want to think that I represent a McDojo in any of the martial arts contexts I work in, so maybe I'm biased, but I guess what I would have to leave with is this. Be sure, double check, do a little research, don't judge from one clip. Make sure you're not insulting someone based on stuff you don't agree with, as opposed to stuff that isn't quality. Because I've seen a lot of martial arts stuff that seemed fake, dumb, stupid. And it was just my uneducated opinion. I was looking at something that I didn't know and saying, oh, that looks dumb, because it wasn't what I was used to. So make sure this isn't what you are doing when you find some short on YouTube and make a one-word comment and then run away.